weapons. It can listen. The enemy use anything. This is the it way can it works. Use. International he fellowship. I fell in love with Church G U E. Oh 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 oh. He don't seem like yesterday. Not far And God has given all of us a call. Perfect and ordained for her in the name of Jesus. You are all young or blind or dumb. Come to G, we let us pray on a Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I guarantee you never stray. G, we father number one. And G, we father number one. And G, we we not take back no talk. Now let's join Apostle Dr. Andrew J. Scott with today's message that's already in progress. We've been on relationship. We haven't really maybe dealt too deep in the marriage area, but just relationship. And um, I want to share some more things tonight. I'm going to go very slow and maybe just block a little sections for questions as we go along because I understand that folks have questions and if you don't want to ask them, you write them and send them up. Amen? Okay, now the last time we covered a lot of grounds, we showed you uh, instruments, different things, and we said most of us learn about relationship and sex from the wrong source. We learn from the world system. Remember we said uh, uh, we learn through movies, books, uh, tapes, videos, where your friends say, or you try a thing. And uh, I, I took you through the word of God and showed you the different things that a lot of the practices that we adopted were practices of ancient times, the old, that... that that we didn't know if nobody reveals to us that a lot of these practices drew spirits with them. Now, not so because not many ministers teach in this area, I could sound like an alien to you or a man from Mars. But I want you to just open up your mind and open up your heart. And as I said, the message is not to condemn you could feel like you've been whipped but now watch the whipping you know like when um when a young child will go to the dentist and they're going to pull teeth after the dentist finish rugo rugo your mouth and give you a sweetie hallelujah hallelujah the sweetie i want to give you is this god love you Hallelujah. So, uh, I just want to, just to, we're going to get into some stuff and uh, take my time and stuff like that. Now, uh, we looked at a whole heap of stuff. Now, we said that some of these practices cause your money to cut off. It cause things to happen. Some of the things that you didn't know attracted is like honey. It attracts bees. It attracts butterflies. It attracts spirits. But if nobody tells you, you will just wake up and just feel driven to do certain things, not realizing that is a spirit behind how you feel. Hallelujah. So we said there are legal ways. The scripture records uh, everything about sex, everything we need to know, it's in the Bible. You know, things about finances, things about business, how you prosper in a business, how you prosper, uh, 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 how you get a home, how you come out of debt. Everything is in the scripture. And little by little, we're going to get in there and show you everything. So as relates to sex, the scripture tell you from head to toe what is legal, how you have sex. If you don't know, it explain things. And tonight, I just want to look at uh, just the legal issues. Again, each time I'm teaching on this, I will say to the older folks, bear with me. 
I know some folks you are not accustomed to hearing about sex in church some folks think it is highly offensive if you call this word in church penis it's funny oh when we say penis the ladies laugh watch this now vagina hear the man them laugh <laughs> it's strange but we have to talk about this because the Bible talks about it and the Bible talks about wholesome relationship and, 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 and how you proceed and how a person have sex and what you do and what, what is legal to do and not to do. And I just want to focus tonight on the legal part, what to do. Two Sundays ago, we focused on what we shouldn't do. Hallelujah. So we're going to zero in tonight on line by line, the scripture says, okay, how to have sex with a female. Everything I tell you, I'm going to show you. And if I show you in a scripture, it's secular. Hallelujah. So then, uh, and, and I'm, I'm doing this because it's shocking. Almost many countries different parts of the island I hear different people on talk show and people are saying oh you do this and you have to I hear uh, it was said that pastor a certain pastor on talk show or whatever telling the members to get dildos and you know to dildo up yourself and um, it's just different things why I believe that happened is because uh, if you don't get a revelation of the word of God, then, you know, many persons just think that the Bible has nothing to say about sex. And this is the problem. When you don't know, then everybody goes loose. Hallelujah. But the Bible has something to say. Okay, let's zero in on now. Uh, what is uh, uh, legal? Let's, let's start first at Genesis 4 from verse 1 and 2. Genesis 4 from verse 1 and 2. Are we there? Read it. Verse 1. And Adam knew Eve as his wife. Yes. And she became pregnant and bore Cain. Yes. And she said, I have gotten and gained a man with the help of the Lord. So if you notice here, Eve said she received a child. She got a man child. She got pregnant with the help of the Lord. So the help didn't come just when she had the child. And for most of you ladies in here who had a child before, I know it is easy. Maybe nine out of ten of you sitting here will separate God help you will rub your tummy and you will ask God to guide you through the pregnancy when it's time to deliver you will beg God especially when the pain rocket you you ball upon Jesus for help you you want a safe delivery. You cry out to God, make the pitney of ten to a ten finger, Jesus. Yeah, you want them to come out normal. Then when the child is out, you will ask, also ask God to help you now to raise the pitney. One clothes, school fee, everything. But nine out of ten of you never ask God to help you for have sex. You see, you're quiet. You know what I say, nothing. Mumble, man. Touching him, I say, grumble, grumble, grumble. Because, listen, the reality is, you believe that God no business, yes, yeah, so. Once it come to this spot, turn your back, Jesus. Turn around, no look, Jesus. Turn around, no look. Jesus, no look, you know, Jesus, no look. (laughs) 
and maybe him, him really can't look. Because here it is where almost everybody at this stage go wild and I must say for some go crazy. Who can swing from chandelier man swing? <laughs> All kind of things happen here so. You swing. Eh? People do things, various things. From whip to uncuff to whipped cream, heisening, vanilla ice cream, strawberry. Not even realizing that is not the body tastes good enough. The ice cream. It's like we forget. So, when you put the ice cream wherever, and you eat the ice cream, you leave with a mindset. And on the ice cream again, you know. It, it's what? Oh, oh, it's what? Eh, eh, Jenny? Jude, sir. Yeah, man, I saw you. You're free now with a session. When we're talking about relationship and stuff, relax, you know, it's a session. Because what I'm sure almost all of you here, if Jesus was here and you had the opportunity to ask him things, you'd ask him. Yeah. So if God gives us revelation to talk on a matter, we're going to talk and, and we'll entrust him for answer. Hallelujah. So we say people, people get wild. Now, the Bible said, Eve asks God, or she thanked God for help her from the relationship all the way beyond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, I have to read this before me. Talk. Boy, this I want to have to read this. My name not going to open up no scripture yet. Me have you read this? Say so read it, Apostle, read it. Now, after I finished preaching on Sunday, somebody said to me, Apostle, you don't know how way you do for me. I said, why? Them say, listen, hear this, Miss Harris. Them say, them did plan out for Bill a pool in a them bedroom. A pole for dance pan. A pole. Build a long pole. I have some flashing lights. Them said them map it out already, you know. Them check out cars, everything for build the pole, put in the bedroom, have some green and different color lights and so. And I said, then where you go to him? Say, how you mean? She said, This your girl that will come, or my wife, have it dance for me. And she went shoot up this pole, yeah. <laughs> No, you laugh. Honestly. Honestly. Him says she that shall go, go up the pool and uh, and he, uh, and he must go sit down on the edge of the bed and watch. And so then they know him must go up on the pool, climb up on the pool. <laughs> and then chuck her. Ah! <laughs> now you're laughing, but the person was serious. Because the person check it out already, cut everything, check it out, and the person was going, do it, build it, build the pool. So you saw all the way alive. And just teaching this. It stopped a man from put up a pool, you know. Now I'm sure that man. Was going to put up the pool this year. Soon. Then they planned it out. January himself. 
and now a February, them that go move along with it before June. Pole have to go up. I don't even know how I call a pole. But think of this now. Did you know that man could never be the only man who had that thought? So what does that say? Somebody somewhere have a pool in the bedroom. That thought was not an original thought by one man, you know. That means other person had the thought and didn't have the word. So then build them pool. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when you have Christian folks, and, and, and I need to tell you, he's not an unsaved man, you know, a, a Christian man and the lady. Did forget married very soon this year. And, them, and the two of them saved. But he might have been Paul. Where him get that from? A place called Center Paul. Some of you wouldn't didn't know that. <laughs> but there was a place once some years ago called Centre Paul. Centre Paul. Is that a jerk chicken spot? Is a Missaris. Centre Paul. You hear about it, Petra? You live across from it. I just stay where you live and see people up by the pipe wall. <laughs> but you knew what was happening over there. Well, somebody went there and captured the idea. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're saying now the legal ways. Can we touch it? Remember now, this includes because in, in the book I wrote, there was a, 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 a lot of things were in it back of it questions that ladies asked we did a survey to the point that some of the things are the concerns and I'm not talking about unsafe folks some of the concern for women we had to put it in the book like one of them was what if I marry this man and he doesn't have sufficient penis do I get a divorce no you no, it's true it, it, it's concerns. All right. It's not a concern. We can move on. On a vocal. Some people have attitude. It's a concern. seen such attitude <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> attitude pan <palm> fierce <laughs> but listen in Proverbs 18:22 it answers that Proverbs 18:22 it takes care of all of that for the male and the female. What it says, reader, read. He who finds a true wife. Ah, he who finds a true wife. Finds a good thing. Finds a good thing, yes. And obtains favor from the Lord. So what this means now, if two persons come together and in marriage the woman discover this man is not able to satisfy me, this was not the true match. It says, he who, read it one more time. Let me show you something. He who finds a true wife. And, hold it, don't rush it. Underline that word, true. So therefore you have false wife. So if you have true wife, you must have untrue or false wife so what it means now not in the sense that 
a woman pretending as a wife but what this means is an untrue wife or a false wife will refer to ones who does not fit you I want everyone hearing me so what it means then is in this relationship you could discover after the walking down the aisle after the smoke and the thing happened and the reality breeze begin to blow you could say find yourself saying oh what me do oh, what is oh, what is man when man wake up on them place you drain him turn on some morning you see what, you see what is man oh, what is <laughs> people say this is terrible what is this and the man may roll over and say <laughs> so both of you are saying the same thing it's time to go you wish that door could have built upon the same side of the bed where you, where you get up and just go through it why I said that in normal relationships where you have just boyfriend and girlfriend some of you think that way in the midst of the relationship once it's not working you could find the true man or woman begins to identify themselves man just plant your house like guinea tree you no move you no go nowhere all you have are you on the tv and the lord him no come in you no see him you no go nowhere Park you. Like a Morris Oxford. Old car, like vintage. Because after a while, you're not go out material again. You're not go out material. You're, you're yard material. You fist your yard. Furthest you come a gate. Hallelujah. Some can't smile and some have a half smile. But it's all right. Just make no one work. It's reality breeze. Hallelujah. But the scripture says a true wife or a true husband is one that fits. I'm not saying that there won't be issues. But what I'm saying is in the area of sex, you're all right. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when I spoke about the men, the ladies got excited and said whatever. But as I said, if you have a man with inadequate penis, then it means that there is a match for him. There is a woman that would be satisfied with him. Obviously, it wouldn't be you. The other side of the coin now could be this. You ever think about where the man I think? You see, you see. Listen where the ladies I think. That him in at him short. Him short and stuff. But them now think what that man thinking. You know? Miss Harris, is that? <laughs> you all know what the man I think? Miss Harris, it's obvious. Let me tell you something, a true thing that happened. While I was working at the bank, and I can share this with you because we're on relationship. Okay? And while we're on this topic, you know, I'll say things that I would normally say, but I'll try to keep it intact. But because this was a true thing and we're on the same topic, uh, while we were, um, I just started to work at the bank. So what normally happened is, in the mornings when we get there very early, everybody had to gather outside. So the security had to come, scout out first. Somebody had to go in, walk around, ensure that the bank is okay, then come back out, and then everybody could go in. 
So while we were outside, a lot of us was out there. Uh, this particular girl, she used to pass. Now when a crowd of guys or people is out there, it, it, you know, you know, pe pe people out there talking in the morning, waiting on the bank to open. This girl passed and she did this. Hi, teeny weeny. And called to one of the guys there. Now understand this now. For the first morning, we never understand it. We never pick it up. But every time she passed, she would say, she, she would say, Hi, teeny weeny. So after a while, it dawned on a few person. And them say, teeny weeny. And him always not answer and him just did it. And them mouthy man, mouthy man, laugh, a laugh, a laugh. This particular man, you know, him see the, him see the girl I come from way down and I see him get, I get jittery and you know, I get jittery. Because the crowd bigger now. And she passed. She come and she said, hi teeny weeny. In the school, so, cool up. <laughs> Him only way out. Him only two, two places. Draw out him out wide and say, cool now. And the whole place just get flat. She never pass that way again. Now, that was his way to respond. Obviously, whatever transpired, everything finished right there. So. so what we said to you now is this. A true wife or a true husband, because it's a true wife or husband, that would never be a mismatch or your concern. One girl told me years ago, how would I know me of a sample first? I was saying to her, no. You see, if God is in it, and, and if you're following the principle, then God will lead you. You're not of a sample anything before. Now, another thing I want to slip in quickly. Why did you think that young man would have tear out him out like that? Huh? She upset him? No, Leonid. <laughs> no, Leonid. You, you don't understand. Eh? Huh? What? Right. So, Miss, Miss Harris is answering. Tell him what you say, Miss Harris. What did she, she say? She don't know because she said maybe he wasn't feeling well. I'm upset. Apparently what the lady has was a little bit too large for his eh? uh, for what he has. Leona said he wasn't saying that before. No, but what him say it then when it mattered most. All right. What do you think would have caused that? We're talking now, this come like a class. Now, picture this, and I'm going somewhere with this. The only way something like that could have happened then to a female, it says she's overly active with various men. So that in itself would tell that something is wrong. So you see, we're coming back to the very beginning now, you know. The, the beginning should be a man seeking a female and that female should be developing herself ladylike, not too kind with sex. So if that man was small then at the time, 
and she was the first person for him, then she wouldn't have a teeny weeny problem. But obviously what has happened is maybe her experiences over a period of time now can help her to determine what is teeny from weeny. You, everybody clear? So we're back to this then. If God is helping you like Eve said from the beginning then God would have led you to that person that you don't have that complaint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the legal ways. I shared some of these before, but I'm going to run them again. 